Hello and welcome. I am Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today I want to share with you a recipe that can be enjoyed anytime throughout the entire year. This recipe, I actually am modifying it from one of the Cancer Research Center's websites because it is a cancer protective recipe. But I always have to make my own modifications to make it even better for you and tasty for my family. This recipe is stuffed portobello mushrooms. Today we're going to be using some portobello mushrooms. You can see them here. We're going to be using some goat cheese. I'm actually going to be using some, um, some roasted red peppers that I did myself, but you could also just buy this. We're going to be using garlic, spinach. We're going to be using olives, even some pomegranate vinegar. So this is going to be delicious. I can't wait to get started. But before I do, I would really love it if you would hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. That tells me I'm giving you the content that you're looking for, that this is a good video and you enjoy watching it. It's not about me. It's about me serving you God's recipe for excellent health. So first of all, we're going to get started and I'm going to take these portobello mushrooms and I'm just going to coat the top and the bottoms with some olive oil. The first step of this recipe is we're going to take our portobello mushrooms and we're going to coat them on the inside and also the outside with some olive oil. Olive oil works really well, but you could also use some avocado oil. We're going to roast these at 400 degrees until they are tender. I've already cut out the stems and I actually chopped up the stems. I minced them and added them to our shallots so that way they can be used at the same time. There we go. So these are ready. We're going to put them gill side up as we roast them at 400 for about maybe 10 minutes. While the mushrooms are roasting, we're going to go ahead and get started on the filling. We're going to start with our skillet here on medium high heat. See, I have a little mushroom flakes left over in my oil. And we're going to go ahead and do about a tablespoon, maybe one to two tablespoons of olive oil. And as soon as this begins to shimmer, we're going to add our onions and garlic and also our little tidbits of the mushroom pieces. So we're going to let that shimmer. Our olive oil is ready for our onions. That. I love that sizzle sound. That means we're at the right temperature. To this, we're also going to add our chopped garlic. Now, it's not fully minced garlic. Like a lot of times, people may totally mince it really fine. I like to have just a little bit of bite of garlic in the food. So this is going to be perfect. takes about one to two minutes to really get those onions and the garlics to be at the point where they are at their peak of flavor. I'm now going to add in our, our roasted peppers. That is going to add a little bit of red redness to it. that saute and then I'm going to add our olives. If olives are not a family favorite for you then obviously you could definitely leave this out. Just going to let that saute just a little bit. And next we're going to add our spinach. I'm only going to add the spinach long enough for it to just get to a, a gentle wilt. I'm 
These are some amazing flavors to be blending together. This is gonna taste it's so good. You could very well have shredded up the spinach. I just kind of like it whole, but it doesn't have to be whole. So we're getting just a gentle wilt on that spinach. If you have baby spinach, it's going to cook a little bit faster. Now we're going to add in our cherry tomatoes. And let them get roasted here. Make sure you're cooking on a medium, medium, high heat, not a high heat. And our cheeses, we're going to save for topping. All right, there we go. Is Doesn't it just look pretty? You want your food to look attractive. Not just taste amazing, but look attractive. Okay, that's ready. That was fast. Now the recipe calls for using four, but since it's just my husband and I, I am just doing two mushroom caps today. You would now take your delicious, beautiful filling and put this on top of these mushroom caps. There we go. And then we're gonna top it with some Parmesan cheese and some goat cheese. We're gonna do both. We're then going to pop it under the broiler for just one to two minutes to melt that cheese. And then we will add the final finishing touch. And if you are a cheese lover family, then definitely put lots of cheese on it. Make it how your family is going to enjoy it. This is not about matching Annette. Annette's just trying to get you inspired and look forward to cooking. So many people say, oh, I cooked all my life. I don't want to cook anymore. Oh, well, you're at the peak of your life right now, so you want to cook. You want to cook for your family or for yourself. These are ready. I'm now going to pop them under the broiler for one to two minutes. And now it's time to go ahead and get these ready to serve. Take them straight off of our pan here. Definitely one would be a complete serving for most people, but you never know, someone may like to have two. I'm using some organic pomegranate vinaigrette. So actually pomegranate vinegar here. There we go. Just top it with some basil leaves for just an additional touch. And we have a beautiful, a delicious dish for our family to enjoy anytime. There we have it. We have our stuffed portobello mushrooms. And these totally have all ingredients that are going to help you to build a healthy body, healthy cells. Your cells are going to say, thank you for that delicious lunch. Every time we control the ingredients for what our family is enjoying, we help to control their health for today, for tomorrow, for the future. So don't let anything that's happening in our environment, anything that's happening in our culture, interrupt the, the importance of feeding your family well. And these stuffed portobello mushrooms are definitely a must for you to try with your family. Lots of nutrition, lots of flavor. That's a combination that always wins. So remember, I'm a net reader from thebiblicalnutritionist.com. I hope you've gone to that website. The recipe will be posted there. It's gonna be a keeper, and I can't wait to meet you there, and then you can join us in our private Facebook group, Biblical Nutrition Academy. I can't wait to see you there. Let's talk about it, and let's get to know each other, because I'm here to serve you God's recipe for excellent health. Thanks for watching.